Um, we're a band from Sunderland and Newcastle and Hull. Um, we normally make music, but we've decided we're going to do a couple of YouTube videos. We're going to start off with a Q&A so you can get to know us. And the more. best question that we've received so far is what could you throw further, tele remote or a computer mouse? How interesting. Hmm. Depends if you've got that reason. <laughs> Is that the thing you considered first? Uh, the weight, the weight, yeah. Yeah, but definitely I feel a telly like, remote. Depending what further. like like mouse it is as well. If it's like an Apple mouse, they're quite like they've Wakey, got some weight yeah. to them. Whereas if it's like just a computer mouse that's got a lead on it, maybe you could do a bit of a a bit of a lasso. Like I still that. think telly I still remote. think telly remote. Remote. Yeah. Unanimous decision. Oh, yeah. Telly remote. A controversial one that someone sent in. You you know who you are to fuck with us. He said? likes to stir the pot. So the next question is, who's best at their instrument? Mm. I've been thinking about this. So we could just be like, oh, it's Joel because he's not here. Yeah. We have a drummer called Joel and he's not like technically in the band. He just drums for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could say him because also he's amazing, mm -hmm. but he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to deal with it. But I think Chaz is the only one who can read music. So in, is that in part theory, of In theory, I would say mm. Chaz is the best musician. Yeah. Even though, I mean, I've uh, studied music for six years of my life <laughs> and I'm still read. not that good. Um, yeah, I can't read music. I just show up and, and do it. We're all good. Yeah, I think it's different because like there's only so much. I mean, you can learn in theory so much, but it's um, some people just have like a, a gift, a, like, a, like a vibe. We're like, just gifted, Katie. Gifted when, you, and talented. when you play, like, like some people can't it. learn that, so um, yeah. that's what I think. When it, gifted and talented always makes me think of like the fact that like there's a whole group of us who were in that in school who were like set up like to go to fucking Oxford and like <laughs> live our best lives, be geniuses, and then we left school and like and studied music not, for six yeah, years and, and here I am on a YouTube channel sitting on the floor, yeah, pretending that yeah. this is a real background. We're literally so, like lean forward. Oh, no. <laughs> tramps. <laughs> In terms of technical ability, we're all great. Yes. And that's your answer, Jackson. Favourite local bands? How long have we got? The North East scene is fucking banging. It's absolutely class, so it's hard to pick a few. Should we say like three? Three each yeah. is fair. Yeah. And we're not allowed to repeat. So one of my favourite local bands is Fever Days. We played with them before the world shut down mm -hmm. in March. Um, and I love them because they just don't seem like a fuck yeah. about what they do. They just have, have a good fun. time. Yeah, and I really admire that. Um, another one of my favourite artists is Faye Fantaro. Because mm. she's so young and she's so good. <laughs> and she's so confident on stage as well. I've seen her loads of times and it blows me away that she just like can do that. At, at, what, like how old is she? Like eight, 17? Eight, eight, she's just turned 18, yeah. It's madness. It's crazy. Um, and then also another local band called Club Paradise. No. I have to say, People. because they're our friends. Our <laughs> lovely friends. Katie lives no. with one of them. Yeah. So if she didn't say Club Paradise, <laughs> she wouldn't I have a home. home. But they actually are really She'll good. She'll be homeless. And you should, like, follow them on social media and listen to their music. All of the artists that we're talking about, go and follow them and check them out. It, yeah. At like a grassroots level makes the world of difference. Yeah. My three favourite local bands. I feel like I'm gonna get to the end and then remember that remember one that I'm gonna be like yeah. shit. So the first one I'm gonna go with is Mini Moons, who are like a folky I always describe them and if someone described them like this to me, I wouldn't like it. But it makes sense when you hear it and then see the description. Um they remind me if like Mumford and Sons in the script had a baby. Like, that sounds awful, yeah. I know, it sounds <laughs> terrible, but I, sw I swear it's not because it's like foggy, but like poppy and like Pat Rick's voice is just absolutely lush. The harmonies that they've got are like, like crazy. There's four of them and they all sing, which is ridiculously hard. Um, I saw them a couple of weeks ago at Time Bank for the first time in like over a year and a half or something. Um, and it was like one of those, it was really special, like remembered how much I loved them and why I loved them and... Um, they're all just really nice boys as well, so I think it makes the world of difference. Also gonna say Zella. Oh yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's that really is a good one. one. Um, I'm intimidated by how cool they are, yeah. and the songs are like so well produced. Don't know anyone that spends that much time in the studio at all. They like really graft. Um, 
that whole image is really cool. If you haven't heard of them before, they're like a, um, electronic, they're siblings as well, which is just cool. Like that's yeah. just a cool gimmick. Um, electronic pop stuff. Yeah. Um, and they're really like heavily supported by uh, BBC Tees. They're from Teesside. You know who I'm gonna say? And I've not even seen them live before, but um, James Leonard Hewitson, his album um, that he put out, I think it was last year, has been like I've listened to that a lot, especially because considering I've never seen him before. Um, Why haven't we seen him? I before? don't know. I, I, I know he's from. That's happened. But in terms of like local artists that I listen to rather than go and see live, because like local live music is like a huge part of my life. But not all of the artists that I go and see live I listen to. Yeah. Outside of that environment, yeah. so um, it's got to be like close to something that I actually like in my normal life for me to do that and James Leonard Hewitson's album um is really good really really good and I listen to it all the time so I'm gonna say James Leonard Hewitson beautiful I feel like mine are like where I want to actually be the bassist in their bands mm. oh they've called in sick I must have to help them <laughs> and I'm gonna play bass for them that's great um yeah so I think like obviously the first one because I'm just obsessed is Kay Grayson so. oh, oh yeah man she's we were so talking cool. about Kay. Yeah. I am intimidated by her. Like she doesn't know who I am. She and she, I also, she's, she's like she's the so friendliest lovely. lady ever. Yeah. It's just that she's like so unbelievably cool. I know. I'm like how like I I don't believe that it's possible to be that nice and that cool. Yeah. But yeah. she but she is. And but then I in my head I'm like that's not real. Something must be wrong. <laughs> Something's a foot. I would say a lovely assistant. I have to think spoke to you oh, about yeah, it. Yeah. I just think their music is like really like poetic. Um, and it's very vibey mm -hmm. and like, ooh, very lovely. Probably 1080 trees. I say oh, all the time yeah. because I literally like, Lewis, uh, I'm like so jealous that he can play that well and like so gritty. And His voice is like yeah. ridiculous, like so good. So good. And because they did a cover of Science, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So, um, showed us up. Yeah, and I, I listened to that. I was like, God, I'd like to play that live for them. Yeah. <laughs> We're really lucky though to live in an area where it's so good. Like, I could three is not enough. Three no. is not enough. <laughs> Favorite Gogglebox families? Oh wow, good question. Okay, I don't know the names of them other than a few. I will know the names really of them. I think yeah. we've got similar ones, don't we? Because yeah, we we've discussed, discussed this the other day. Yeah. <laughs> They say Jenny and me, yeah. but they're yeah. also yes. the Siddiquis. They're mine yeah. too. I love so, the Siddiquis. The Siddiquis, and so we were talking the other day, and I asked Chaz, I said, if you, I don't know why in my head <laughs> this is the hypothetical question, but I said, if you could only keep two Gogglebox families, who would you, you keep? Those because two. my two, my favourite two would probably be different to the two that I would keep, keep. Yeah. if I could only keep two. Yeah. So my favourites. Are Sophie and Pete? Is that the one? This the little brother? No, no, they're from. Um, I thought. They were, oh no, no, they're not. The ones they're from. Blackpool. They, did you know that they are the Chuckle Brothers? Chuckle yes. Brothers. Barry. 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 <laughs> what is the relationship? I think. Um, are they? They're a great uncle. <gasps> I think. Imagine. I know. Like that's why they're funny. And like yeah, yeah and, and like it, it was so. Like you didn't realise and then when yeah. someone said it I was like, like Of so course they're related to the chuckle but yeah. it was like yeah. he's the absolute spit. Yeah. Is <laughs> it Paul Chuckle? Yeah. He is, he is, he proper is. I think Sophie and Pete are gonna end up on a reality show and not gonna be able to go back on. So in my head I'm like, they're my favourite, but if I could only keep two, then it's gonna have to be the other two because they're gonna yeah. end up away. So <laughs> I, would, I know, I really have. I've, I've thought about it. I've really thought it's about it. My favourite two would be, I'm only keeping two, it would be the Siddiquis and Jenny and Lee. Yeah. Yeah, but my favourite two would be Jenny and Lee and Sophie, Sophie and Pete. Pete. Yeah, I think mine is exactly the same. Yeah. Because but like, then the, Jenny and Lee. there's not many at the minute that I don't like. Because in previous years, there's been like a couple where I'm like, I'm not bothered about yeah. you. The old so ladies boring. because they oh, yes! them, yeah. they're so cute Just when the, there's loads of like sexual stuff on the tongue like <laughs> oh look at him basically i love the box <laughs> yeah. welcome to our well, <laughs> i love maybe we should make a whole video about goggle box yes favorite gig memory oh that's a lush one i think i have to say uh our first gig yeah because that's what I'm i feel like we didn't know how it was gonna go We'd like hidden away in the practice room for so long. It was really scary, but the reception was lovely, so. Wasn't it? 
very yeah. positive memory. It was I a think lot of work that had gone into like one show. Yeah. And then when it sold out, like on the day, we were like, this could go awfully. Yeah. Like yeah. They, we could go down like a sack of shit. Yeah. Like people could just not get it. People could just not get on board with it. We've embarrassed ourselves before. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened again. Exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, just at like any that. given moment. Really. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily we didn't. And it went well. I liked it because as, as well, like my sister had like planned to come up and not yeah. tell me and brought all my family and I was like, Aww. that was cute. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, you know, when we played with Zuzu. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah. That, something like that happening to us is like, we hoped for something of that scale to happen <clears throat> um, in like a couple of years. Yeah. And we, we'd been a band for like four months at this point. Um, and if you don't know who Zuzu is, first of all, what are you doing with your life? How? Sort yourself First, out. Yeah, how do you know? How do you not know? But also, please go and listen to our music. Because yeah. I think that was like a real like turning point in like specifically with me and Katie. Like, uh, I had listened to her for a long time. And then uh, me and my friend Dan went and saw her in Manchester Neighbourhood Festival. Um, and met her for the first time and stuff. It was one of those where like trying really hard to be cool. <laughs> that wasn't Definitely at all. Feels. It really wasn't. <laughs> Um, but then since then, we've I've seen her like all around the country. And when she asked us to play that show with her, that was just like, like really, really special. She's um, like a proper idol for us. Like. Yeah. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Literally, what dreams are made of. So that would be mine. I, I could be cheesy and be like every fucking gig. Mm. Um, every time I we we go to a gig, I'm like, oh, just it's just another gig. And then we play it, and I'm like, oh, we vibed so well. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> especially me, me and you, Kate. When we're like, when I see you across the stage, and you're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I like those little moments. I the little that, moments on that. stage when you just catch <laughs> each other. That's so good. I know. We have a good time. This is what I love about like being in a band with friends is that like it doesn't matter like if shit goes wrong which it often does like technical problems it, yeah like, like you make mistakes you're human but like i feel like none of that shit matters because we're friends so like uh, like the only thing that matters is that we're having a good time you don't so, do something like this unless you love it exactly. let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> you don't waste hours of your life years of your life doing something if you don't love it yeah what does this look like oh, i can you, see i can see but <laughs> i know that's, that's continuity yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to start again if you want your glasses on. <laughs> we look really good, don't we? Yeah, we have to shame. Dream festival to headline. Oh glass door in it. Yeah. Glass door? No. Any, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah any. <laughs> in the current any, climate. Any I'll festival. Take, yeah. Glass door have like a fifty fifty split. Well, that's, um, good then. that's why I so like to headline, headline glass door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> glass door, but also headline Redden and Leeds to be like To prove a point. You yeah. yeah. We were supposed to be playing Redden and Leeds this year. Moment of silence, please. Yeah, we were supposed to be playing Redden and Leeds this year, which is heartbreaking. <laughs> um, especially for all the festivals that struggle with the gender split, like to get an opportunity like that is like all we ever wanted. <laughs> Um, but then coronavirus ruined our lives, so that didn't happen. But in terms of headline and festivals, any mm -hmm. and all, but specifically Glastonbury. Yeah. <laughs> if I, I'm not fussy, but like... <laughs> but so the any, biggest festival in the UK. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Glastonbury, Pyramid Stage, I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. A few people have asked um, how we formed the band. Our band. Our band. That big. <laughs> Basically, we're friends. Me and Robin have been friends for like... It's 11 years now, happy yeah. anniversary. Thank you. Uh, we went to see Zuzu, as I thought mentioned, together. Um, and we were just like, fuck it, like, let's, let's do, do it. music. There aren't, I remember having a specific conversation where we were saying there aren't enough women in music, there aren't enough girls encouraged to do music from a young age. Um, and we, like, were lucky enough to have that in our lives. So, like, fuck it, let's do it. We started, like, writing songs together and shit. Um, and then asked around for in the local scene for a bass player and literally Charles was the first person that we met <laughs> and we fell in love. To be honest we weren't like set on it being all girls like if it is then great but like it wasn't like a criteria because we just wanted people like who we got on with and who were good and who liked the music like there's no point if you're not all on the same page. It was like a year and well it's nearly two years ago. Yeah. <gasps> 
like two years ago we, we, like we wrote time. so we wrote science which we released last november and then we wrote milk and vinegar which we released in no september september yeah just gone we wrote those first and then we wrote like a bunch of other songs just on our own and then like a couple of weeks before our first gig um our circumstances changed just within the band and we found our lovely joe and uh he's all we've ever wanted <laughs> i know he is, boy so of our dreams. he is he's the only boy allowed yeah that's how we formed and then we've just we practiced for like a year before we did anything in front of people i remember being so nervous before the first practice because i listened to picnic and i was like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit different. This is the standard that I'm just gonna be. In big big, you have to be good. In big fat big, you just have to try. <laughs> this one is topical because we're filming this on Halloween. Ooh. What's your favourite Halloween sweet? Mm. You know when the shops start doing like different versions of what they already do. So like Mr. Kipling <gasps> yeah. on Halloween. Yeah. French so they just put them... Yeah. I had Halloween. one at work the other day that was like it was like a Mr. Kipling thing, I think. And it was just, you know, like the vanilla slices, like the yes. angel cakes. But it was green. So they just made it green and put it in spooky packaging spooky. and called it, <laughs> called it a day. Um, spooky Jaffa cakes and that. Yeah. I think yeah. I get, like, Anna when she goes to, like, my friend Anna, she goes to America. I'm like, get us some candy corn, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it sounds like it's just icing that's really hard and I really like it. Mm. Hard icing. Hard icing. Sounds awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It that is awful, awesome, but it's disgustingly good, you know? Yeah. Uh, when we used to, so when we used to go, like, trick or treating, we had this conversation the other day. We used to have to sing a song before we got given anything. Like, with me and Katie are from Sunderland. And there's like a Halloween song that's like, I've never questioned it until this week. Would you like to perform? The sky is blue, the grass is green. Have you got a penny for Halloween? If not a penny, a sweet will do. If not a sweet, then God bless you. Oh, sing that <laughs> at the door before you got given any sweets. Anything that I was given was gratefully received because we are poor. Because <laughs> I'm from an area of poverty. <laughs> yeah, just getting things. Yeah. Next question. Uh, who has the best guitar tone? I mean, out of us, uh, Katie. Oh, well, you know, I'm just going to say, literally. <laughs> just in the world. In oh, general, in the world. My guitar answer tone. is, I don't know what their name is, but the guitarist from Penis. <gasps> um, but... Um, Yes, uh, her guitar tone is like so. Like as soon as she starts playing, you, you know what time it. Yeah, I would say something daft like um like Justin Hawkins. Like because again, it's one of them where he starts playing. You know that it's him. He's arrived. He's entered the room. <laughs> he's plugged. He's goddamn guitar in, and he's playing you some sweet sweet music. Yeah. Um, but obviously that's like a silly answer. Um, but that's probably my answer. Yeah. Probably Corey Wong or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I think his turn is also part of... <laughs> <laughs> he plays with Wolfpack, he, but he also does his own stuff. Part of his turn is, like, the the way he plays. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. a lot of the, I think, because I think of that way when you play bass, so it depends on... Do you know like, what it is as well? Um, I think you think that because he plays guitar like a bass player. Like, he yeah. plays like riffs and he plays yeah. you know what i mean and like, it's it's like parts that way he's not constantly overpowering everything and i, and I like that i respect that about classy. guitarists too can like <laughs> classy yeah. guitar and he, who can embellish a song instead of being like all over it yeah like i like an embellish embellish it yeah like and it, yeah i like harry wong i think that's a good answer just because i like to be made for that's all <laughs> <laughs> you should have been a guitarist <laughs> yeah. What is your live lounge cover going to be? Oh, First of all, I like the optimism. Big dick energy. <laughs> that is big dick energy. I think about this all the time. Well, this is, we are manifesting for 2021 <laughs> because 2020's been a shit show. See you in the live so, lounge. So, 2021, live lounge. Like a Miley Cyrus. Oh. The new one. Is it Midnight Sky? Yeah. yeah. Or a Jonas Brothers song. Or um, that Maroon 5 song, which is like harder to breathe. Because I think about it all the time. I, I don't know that song. Harder to breathe, is it? I don't think I know that song. I don't know that song. Dino. That was the most. Dino. 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 Edit this out. Harder that. and harder to breathe. That one. No. Wow. Well, I might not have heard it, but I'm unfortunately not even that beautiful rendition can. Uh, <laughs> 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 Dino. <Dino. laughs> not a clue. Like five things. Uh, Madonna, like a prayer. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. And we could get really, like, we could go mental with that. We could. Get gospel 
<laughs> get everything in. Joel it's great because they would just like hire that for you. That's what I think. I'm yeah. like, oh, I would have this and this and this yeah. and this, and you would give it to me. I don't know what I want to pick now. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is. <laughs> we got um... a question that simply says. <laughs> Favourite albums? Ooh. I think that we could and should do a whole separate video. Yeah, we should. On yeah. favourite albums. Oh, should we just say all know? time favourite album? Okay. I have. I, don't, I, can't, I can't pick that. I know. Same. I don't know why I said that was a stupid idea. <laughs> Brand new eyes. Because obviously Paramore is my favourite band. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Obviously I want to be Hayley Williams. Um, and it's not necessarily the best Paramore album, but it's like the quintessential everything you want in a Paramore album. Oh no, but I just remember Elliot Minor. No, I, I would, would have to pick from, Paramore. Yeah, yeah, from the outside, I would say you should pick Paramore. Yeah, because of who you are. If I can person. only listen to one album for the rest of my life, it's probably going to be Brand New Eyes. It's not something that I'll ever grow out of. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> that I think the only album that I could sing every word to without missing a well, beat. Was like for it. No, no, oh, no, no. Damn it! <laughs> because it's been too long. Like I right. need to study that for longer. But that yeah. is one of our all-time favorite albums. But it's back on top by the front bottoms. Yeah. Every single word. <laughs> Obviously, like I love them, but I don't even know if that is my favorite it's album. It's not but I know every single word to it. Mm -hmm. Like I could put it on now and recite. I could write it all down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I've been playing it to Robin for quite a bit because I've been playing the Hoosiers all the time. Oh yeah, she's been obsessed with the Hoosiers. Um, it's the safety of illusion. Like I could sing everywhere to that yeah. album. Like it's just a, a time where I just like got obsessed with them. Favourite song to play live? I know yours. You burst and you're burst and the same. <laughs> Go on. It's unexpected. It's always yeah. the first one because I think it just, oh, it like, gets us hyped up. Yeah, it does. Like, and, it's in drop D. <laughs> Metal. Yeah. We so call good. we the song is called we call it unexpected because that's the shortened name. But the the real title of the song we ever recorded the um title of the song is unexpected open, open bracket, bracket item in the baggage area close bracket. I think that and SVT because I think it's such a beautiful yeah. melody and the guitar in it it's like bit of a palate cleanser. Yeah, like I, I, it, <laughs> it's, it's just so it's so one. interesting. That, that's why different. I like it so much, yeah. And I like how it breaks the setup and stuff. I think milk and, milk and vinegar is one that has always gone down really well. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that I love a key change. I love a key change. I'm a sucker for a key change. That's got one in. So for that, however, it is always at the end of the set and I'm always like almost dead. It's so hard. It's hard. Scene. I don't yeah. know why we put it at the end of the set. It's it is a closer, like because I think because of the key change and yeah. stuff, like it makes sense to have it there. But when you're playing forty five minutes and jumping around and sweating your tits off and screaming, <laughs> I do spend like the first half of the song being like, "Don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up," and because I'm playing the synth as well. Yeah. So it is hard, but <clears throat> I think what makes a live show for me a lot of the time is the way that people respond to it and the way that people like consume it at the time and that does always seem to go down really well. Mine is uh, Blame Me because oh, yeah. it like it makes me like angry but in a really good way. Yeah <laughs> again it's one that's like it takes you up and yeah. like you get hyped. It makes me sad though because I, I don't think we will release that ever. No. I don't think we'll ever release it but it's the kind of song where I'm like we're gonna play it in every set we ever do. Yeah it's not. <laughs> that it's, one has to stick around. It's not gonna be dropped. I need to read this out but I don't I'm not reading it out on the internet. Why the fuck you lying? Remember when Gordo was a fucking simp for Lizzie and Paolo cooked him? <laughs> Asks for questions on the internet. And and that's what you said. <laughs> Are you okay? Joe says, "Who does the best Buzzcocks impression?" Well, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you decide who does the best Buzzcocks impression. Yeah. <laughs> that like me. What's the I best thing to hide a higgy? What is the best thing to hide a higgy? I'm not fifteen, so I don't yeah. know. Grow up. <laughs> <It's the best laughs> sort your life out. <laughs> Grow up. Is the answer. <laughs> Which other musician do you individually remind each other of? Like traits, vibe, influence. 
Obviously, the easy thing to say for you is fucking Hayley Williams yeah. because you've got bright orange hair. I do. But I, do I mean, and that was the intention. I won't lie. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like, yeah. So you do have that vibe to you. But then also, I kind of get like, like you're more dramatic than Hayley Williams. I don't know yeah. who that is. Like, who I'm thinking of. This is a really big compliment for uh, Freddie Mercury. But with I know, I know because no, Bitch! I know because. I love Hayley Williams, right? Obviously, I love Hayley Williams. But you're <laughs> She's more gone. dramatic than she is. Theatrical. Yeah, in the same way that Freddie Mercury is. So wow, yeah. my goodness. I agree with that. I think for chairs, someone like really cool, like Susie from Susie and the Banshees or something yes. like that. Like something yeah. like really edgy you've got this vibe when you're on stage where like if i didn't know you i would be scared but yeah. in a good way yeah oh, cool. <laughs> no like i would think that you go you were gonna like stamp on my head like, <laughs> like yeah. you, but like i, I just look I so miserable like, mm, yeah I want please stamp, stamp on my head, head. <laughs> it's really easy to be like for you to be like someone like kate nash because i think a lot yeah. of the songwriting tendencies are like very similar especially on um like songs like skeleton song and stuff like that i don't know if anyone has heard i mean you will it's on made of bricks but like that kind of song and like those kind of comparisons in music to make something like really sad sound really happy and like yeah. It, I think that's like a talent, you know, like there's not many people that can do that. I wake up every day and hide my horrible life. <laughs> <laughs> without saying, without literally just saying, I am sad. Like Brian said. Yeah. When I am sad, I, I am, am sad. sad. <laughs> like, but obviously genius. there's a place for that. There's absolutely yeah. a place for that. But in terms of like dressing something up to be something that it might not sound like but it is like at its core it's something entirely different to what it sounds like i think that's something that's really hard to do and i think you do that really well and so does kate nash and also she's the best what's, well, what's the lead uh, the lead singer of heim oh i don't know which she one she uh, as well yeah, yeah. Daniel, like that type of vibe of like coolness like Ooh. on stage i feel like all your presence is just like yeah yeah literally, i was gonna say like literally just all the that type of like reserved cool where i see when we watch videos back I, i'm like why can't i be that cool i know i lose my shit too much yeah you'll like, keep it together quite you, well. you, uh, yeah but like reserved coolness my i'm like my ego is <laughs> <laughs> in your head you think like the worst of yourself and like you can you? try not to but like that's the default that we go to mm -hmm. so like when other people think that it's not <laughs> not awful you're not a horrible <laughs> will on the stage <laughs> like that's nice to know. But it's like, it goes back to the whole imposter syndrome thing that yeah. we've gone over like a million times before. Like, it's really easy to like see yourself in like a light that isn't real. Like, yeah. it doesn't exist. But because you live with yourself every day, it's hard. So, like, it's hard to accept compliments. Yeah. This is why you have to listen to Rizzo. Oh. And when this yes. is why we call ourselves that bitch, because mm. if we don't, we'll cry all day. Yeah. yeah. So. Like, we have to pretend. <laughs> Yeah. Where there's a lot of pretending that goes on in this band, I won't lie. <laughs> What's our songwriting process? It's changed a bit. It changes, it, it still changes in mm -hmm. my opinion. Every song is different, which I think is cool because it's not just like a, like it's not really a process of no. any kind and I think that's what keeps it fresh yeah. all the time. We started off with me and Katie sat in Katie's bedroom writing songs on an acoustic guitar. I think it's changed a lot in that it's a lot more of like a group thing now which is what our like i think we always wanted it yeah, to be definitely. um but then at the same time it can, it can start off a lot of the time as um like we have an idea for a concept we have a song called alexa where i just was like i'm going to write a song about alexa's like i'm going to write a song about robots and i'm going to write a song about how they're fucking pointless and useless I hope everyone's if anyone's listening and they've got an Alexa, I hope we're really annoying them. Alexa! <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke! <laughs> See? They're annoying, aren't they? Welcome. They're the worst. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to write a song about how much I hate the fact that like we've all got them and they're just listening to us all the time. And then we wrote a song about that. Like, it wasn't, like natural like i forced it and then it, it was but it was fine like sometimes that is it like sometimes i'll be like what do i want to write a song about instead of because sometimes if i just sit there and nothing happens then like 
I get like I think the worst of myself and I'm like why isn't it happening so sometimes you need some kind of like a stimulus like yeah. something to get you started and then it can come like a little bit more naturally after that a lot of the time we'll have like conversations about um what we want the song to be so like one of us will come with an idea and then we're like okay so it's kind of like this song and it has an idea from this place and this yeah. place and then it like we all manage to make it come together like into something team, else that's like yeah, ours our own thing yeah. yeah when it was just me and you writing i feel like that was that was its own thing mm -hmm. but then adding Chaz into that made it feel more like it could go wherever it wanted to so yeah. like with with like science when we first wrote that it was just like just me and you with a guitar and then you added i remember in our first practice when you started playing that bass line i was like it's a whole other song yeah like it sounds <laughs> like, like something else yeah. yeah so like that part of writing where we'll just be like i don't know what to do here yeah and then like it just can go different in. places yeah. most songs have been written in different like we don't really have a process no it just happens some of us, sometimes one of us will have an idea. Sometimes I'll sit down and I'm like, I'm gonna write a song. Sometimes we'll do it all together. Like the, the new stuff that we've been writing, um, we've done that all together. Like, so we did it in the way that me and Kate used to. Like we sat in a room and we're like, we're not leaving until we write a goddamn song because we need something new. Um, and it, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, that time it did, luckily we got some new songs. <laughs> it's less of a process and more of um, just like existing in the world and trying our hardest. I'm trying my best. Now we've got to do the awkward bit again. Thanks everyone for sending any questions. We'll do another one of these. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, we love chatting. We do. We, yeah. We're really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> this we've been recording for an hour. This hopefully it's not going to be that long. God, I would not Give the people that. what they want. <laughs> if you have just stumbled upon our channel, um, we're Big Fat Big, we're a band from the northeast of England. Um, we'll leave all of our social media links and music below. Um, so subscribe while you're here. <laughs> Why not? And turn the bell notification on. Yeah, we're new at this, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. So do all of that. Come and follow us. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.